Hey FTM Transtastic, my name is Luke and this week's topic is RuPaul. First, I kind of wanted to address a couple of things because obviously recently there's been a little bit of drama regarding certain individuals. I'm not really in a position where I feel comfortable discussing anything in depth without sounding like that's just, you know, excusing behavior or just ignoring it and just wanting it to go away. But the fact of the matter is just because I'm on Transtastic does not mean I have some deeper understanding of what's going on. I know just as much as any anyone else. I barely speak to the individuals involved. So I'm really not in a position where I feel comfortable making statements or claiming certain things or discussing certain things when I feel like I don't know any more information than anyone else. We're all individuals here on this channel. This is a collab channel. Just because one person might do certain actions, might do certain things, does not mean that represents the entire channel, does not mean it represents everyone else on the channel. Any actions don't represent me. I have my opinions on certain things, I have certain things I want to say, but I just don't feel it's appropriate at this time. I just think that there's a time and a place for me including my opinions on it, and me including my experiences and anything like that. And I don't think now is that time. The reason I'm saying this, and I wish I didn't have to, but I know that I'm not gonna be able to post a video without mentioning this because otherwise people are going to be like, why aren't you talking about this? Why aren't you talking about that? And um, at the end of the day, the reason I'm not talking about it is because I feel like if I were to talk about it, I'm worried it would come across as if I am someone with more insight than I do. You know, I've already been asked my opinion on certain things, I've been asked on my experiences with certain things, and look, I just don't really feel like I'm in the position that people think I'm in. And so that's why I'm not saying anything. Things may change and I, you know, may feel it's appropriate to say certain things, but at the moment, I don't think it is. I don't really want to make a comment on anything because I don't really feel like I'm in the position to do so. Yeah, so with saying that, this topic is RuPaul. I don't know too much about RuPaul. I started watching drag last year. I watched um, RuPaul's Drag Race season six, I think it was. Loved it. It was awesome. Loved Bianca Del Rio. She was amazing. And the art itself, I was really, really interested in. It was not something I was expecting to be interested in but I actually found the show really enjoyable. Since then, I've watched a couple other episodes and a couple other things. I've got a friend that's a real big fan, but besides that, I don't really have much experience with RuPaul. I know that RuPaul has had some controversial things in regards to the LGBT community, particularly the trans community. I think that's disappointing, and I think that it's frustrating seeing gay people talking about the trans community as if they have a deeper understanding than straight people, when a lot of the time they don't. They get excused for behaving and saying certain things, where cishet people wouldn't, yet they hold the same beliefs and the same misunderstandings and the same judgments. And that bothers me a little bit. I think recently there was a comment regarding um, RuPaul saying that they didn't want transgender women in the show. Ignoring the fact that there were trans women in the show and also ignoring the fact that, you know, body mods is really common in the drag community. This is just from what I saw. Like, I did not do any extensive research into this, nor do I know about the culture and the ins and outs of drag. I think that as an artist and as a drag queen, really, really talented, RuPaul's Drag Race, the show, I feel like has really brought drag into the mainstream in a way that it really wasn't before. And I think that's really, really cool um, because I think it's just it's showing another angle that, you know, LGBT people can express their hobbies and enjoy their things that they enjoy. And that doesn't have to define them. But even if it does, that's okay. Because I, I know, like, a lot of the time, it can be really, really difficult, you know, seeing representation and it being like, he's gay, but that's okay. Like, let's not make it a huge part of, you know, his things. Like, for example, Dumbledore. Um, this is just like a random example. J.K. Rowling said at the end of, you know, after she wrote the books that she always imagined Dumbledore being gay. There was nothing in the text that would lead someone to assume that he was gay. So it was kind of like, is this really representation? I don't really know if this is representation. And some people were like, you know, well, it's just saying that gay people are just the same as straight people. There's no need to make a huge deal out of it and that, you know, gay people can just be gay people and that that's fine. But at the end of the day, you know, not everyone is the same anyway. And some people are flamboyant. Some people are outgoing. Some people do do drag. Some people are feminine. Some people are, you know, stereotypically gay but there's nothing wrong with that and that's completely acceptable and that should be completely acceptable and just because someone looks like a normal person or you know a straight cis passing person that doesn't necessarily mean that they are any more or less gay than someone who's super flamboyant someone who enjoys drag someone who enjoys that sort of thing and i think that that's really important i think the representation is hard because it's hard to represent a community when the community is so diverse it's a really good way to support the fact that you know gay people don't need to be quiet about their sexuality the gay community doesn't need to be quiet it can be loud it can be extravagant and that's 
okay. And that's my opinion on RuPaul and RuPaul's Drag Race as a show. And to be fair, I don't know too much about the ins and outs. I don't know if like what I said was completely problematic and that, you know, it turns out that RuPaul has like murdered 10 kittens. But from what I know and from what I've seen, I think it's a pretty good thing. And I don't know how much of that is RuPaul and how much of that is the show itself. Um, and I don't really think it's fair to give RuPaul the credit for something that isn't necessarily all about him. But either way, I think that drag's cool, and I think that it's nice that it's sort of more mainstream, and I think RuPaul's Drag Race is probably a contributing factor for that. For a lot of people, that's their first exposure to drag. You know, that was my first exposure to drag, it was m my girlfriend's first exposure to drag, and we really enjoyed it, and you know, we're not the sort of people who would, you know, stumble across that. That's not really the sort of community that we generally are involved in, so I think it's it's cool that something like that was able to open the doors into a community that I otherwise would not really have explored, or been interested in, or really investigated. So, yeah, that's my takeaway from that. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys like RuPaul? Do you like RuPaul's Drag Race? Who is your favorite drag queen? I probably won't know anyone because I know like three, but um, leave a comment down below. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Merry Christmas next week for anyone who celebrates Christmas and happy holidays for everyone else. And I hope you guys have an awesome week. See you next time. Bye.